Hey guys, one of the best things I've done for food delivery was to buy this bag, but also along that, the rack that comes with it. The reason you wanna use something like this that's overly large is that you can multi-app and instead of getting paid $10 for a delivery, you just accept more from other apps and then basically you double and triple whatever you're making. Today I'm gonna to install this rack and bag on the PCX. So this rack, it actually is nice just for regular bikes. And I think maybe this is something that adventure bikes are gonna have in the future. Or at least they should. When you look at the Honda Trail 125, it comes with a super large rack. And honestly, I think that's a great idea. I do like having this, even just for riding around. Having something large like this, yeah, you can put a whole lot more stuff instead of the skinny racks that come with bikes. So manufacturers, please start making these. This is just so much more useful. Anyway, so I have an existing rack on the CRF and you do need it so you can mount it, but it's a direct mount onto my Kamimoto rack, which I really like. With this rack, it comes with this, it comes with the bolts, and it comes with these two brackets that you can use to sandwich in your bike. Some bikes are easier to install than others. Sometimes you have to drill into the racks of others, and it does create enough um, support. But if you don't use something like this, it's too wobbly. The, the rack that comes with the, um, the bag, it's really kind of unusable. This is the rack that comes with the bag itself and I created a bunch of stuff just to kind of help ab absorb some of the vibration. The problem is it's just not good enough. It bends, it, it actually breaks. It's, um, it creates a lot of flex and you don't want that because then like it bounces around too much. But with this, it's a whole lot more stable. It looks much, much more professional. Um, there's some things about it like the welds are not great right here. They didn't even weld it, they just spot welded it. And when you do this, there's actually metal inside that's loose that makes noise. So when you look at my Yamaha Zuma rack, this by the way is plastic. I thought it was aluminum, but Motorola is like, yeah, this is plastic. That could be an issue down the road, this could crack, but one thing I do appreciate about the rack from the Zuma is this, these gra large grab rails that you can like loop straps through and hold things down. You look at the CRF, the rack, it's got multiple holes you can bolt the, the, the cargo rack through. And on the FGR, you have an issue is that there's this part of the rack, but it's not very easy to mount stuff. You need some sort of plate to bolt the rack in. So. Obviously, I'm not using the FJR for delivery stuff. And on the PCX, you have the same sort of issues. You don't really have a very good mounting hole, mounting way of putting the rack. So this might be an issue. So using these plates, I should be able to mount it even in the open, open hole that it has. And that should be sufficient, because we're not carrying a lot of weight. So I'm gonna try that for now. So I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it for now. I'm just gonna put the bolts, the washers, I really should put a spacer on here, but it's actually pretty steady, even now. You don't need to over tighten this, you just need to make sure that it, it doesn't uh, fly off. Let's put our bag on here. Buckles are extremely weak and already broke one, and I wish there was a way to have metal buckles. Yeah, these buckles are definitely pretty weak and there should be some way, some more stitched in ways of attaching the straps, something, because the more steady thing is using just bungees. And one thing I do is I, <clears throat> I put these zip ties on here just because 
This is actually more stable than these uh, really badly designed buckles. So with the straps on there, it does push this sometimes and it makes the zipper harder to open, especially here. So you're gonna have to kind of push it just a bit more. And that's another thing that I expect will go wrong is the zippers are going to eventually fail. 